Maybe I ain't had no business on that flight. This is like a pain I've never felt. Today drains me. So it's like an Olivia Pope or with the PR. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I like that. is the gate attendant so I'm flying with American and he was like don't cry like I understand you're upset but we gonna get you out of here like I'm gonna get you right and I was like thank you so the next flight isn't until an hour I was put on standby so it's still not guaranteed but I was put to this top of the standby list so everybody say a prayer that we make this flight oh my god but now I can breathe the way I was hauling ass through this airport trying to get to this gate it seemed like everybody was flying today like the tsa pre-check lines and the regular security lines looking like everybody in the city was trying to get out of here i was like does is there something going on that i don't know i was like i got here and those lines were looking like that at like 5 30 in the morning on a wednesday that like i just oh, i don't understand needless to say there are many factors that caused me to miss my flight, but I'm just trying to believe that everything happens for a reason and maybe I ain't had no business on that flight. I'm just going to, I'm just gonna try and relax and pray that everything the rest of the day goes fine. Child, and I was so overwhelmed, I was like, is it too early to drink? <laughs> I was like, I need something to calm my nerves because my nerves are shot. If anything, I may get some coffee and just get on my laptop. I mean, by the time I finish doing my makeup, it should be relatively close to boarding for the standby flight. So, everybody say a prayer. But I'm sure people are probably thinking I'm crazy talking to a camera in the bath and doing my makeup. So, let me finish this up. Once again, then I'll post it on if I make this flight. All right, y'all. We made it to Charlotte. Now here's the thing, I have a very tight window to get on this next flight. My flight boards in 20 minutes and it's going to take me 13 minutes to get to the next gate. So it's just nothing but rushing, rushing, rushing this morning. But I'm claiming that we are going to make this flight. Okay, stay tuned. I tell you, it's been a journey getting on this plane. Luckily, I had time to stop at Wendy's because I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. And I just got a sandwich because I ain't trying to eat a whole meal. So it sounds like everybody needs to go back to their seats. Ciao. <laughs> my business. This is definitely going to hold me over. But I know I'm going to be hungry later, so hopefully I can get some food.
Tell me your name, where you're from originally, and um, what is your aspiration? Ooh. Um, I see. Oh, I was just talking about this. I can go first. Okay. <laughs> so I'm Mariah. I'm originally from the DC area, specifically Maryland. What I, my aspiration, I would love to have my own, which and I'm, I feel like I'm sort of building to this now, um, but I would love to own and operate my own firm where I can serve all like black artists and creatives like in all the things communications so like whether that's marketing pr um buying ad space like i just feel i just hear so many stories about artists and like musicians and just their their struggle to find representation in the media space i just want to be that space to to give them the platform so that people can really see the great things that they're doing love it so it's like an Olivia Pope or with the PR. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yes, with my yeah, yeah I, mean, I love that. Yes. Because, I mean, it's not like we don't know that that works, right? right. Like there is a market. So this idea about um, artists of the global majority, black artists, indigenous artists, you know, Middle Eastern, North African artists, not selling. Mm-hmm. It ain't true. Mm -hmm. right, so. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Maura. Nice to meet you, too. And I think we also have to remember individuals can enable or constrain cultural policy. Thank, Thank you. What's up, y'all? <laughs> we made it to Ann Arbor. Ciao. What a day. I'm just, I am so tired. I can't even begin to describe the exhaustion that I feel like today today was today drained me mm -mm -mm. today drained me so first day of sessions is done and I just got to my room I'm gonna change my clothes and we're gonna head downstairs to meet up for dinner this room is like cute like I can't put my finger on what type of vibe this is but it's giving very like old school so when you walk into the room this is what you see here's the bathroom oh where's the light here's the bathroom let's see shower i love the color though and the sink hey and we have a full length mirror. We love to see it. You see the decor, very old school. Like it is old school, the word, but it's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's check out the view. Cause we're right on, oh wow. We're right on University of Michigan's campus. And this is the view outside the room. Very cute. So I need to hurry up and change my clothes because we are meeting downstairs in four minutes. <laughs> While I'm out, I need to find some allergy medicine because I just started sneezing out of nowhere. Like back to back to back. I feel one trying to come on now. Let me hurry up and change before I get yelled at for being late and I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> Hey guys, checking in from Grizzly Peak Brewing Company in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And there is a drink on their menu that we need to discuss. Look at this. 
We are looking at the Ape Escape <laughs> Plantation Pineapple Rum, Tempest, whatever that is, Cream de Banana, Tiki Bitters, Ape Escape Plantation Pineapple Rum. Are they serious? <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but Ape Escape? What? Uh uh, they need to fix that. I am in so much pain. Like, I can't even begin to put in words the pain that I feel. I have the worst headache that I think I have ever felt in my entire life. Um, I don't know how this came to be because I don't know if it was the stress of like missing the flight and like trying to get here on time and all that like I don't I don't know what it is but it's to the point where like literally any tiny movement that I make my head hurts so bad forget about sneezing like the pain from sneezing the pain at like opening my eyes like is this a migraine I don't know if I've ever had a migraine before, but this, this is beyond typical headache. This, this is something different. I have no idea what it is. I thought that maybe I just needed to eat and that would cure it because all I had to eat today was that burger on the plane this morning. But even after I ate, oof. The pain is still here. Like it, it. I can feel pressure, just trying to wipe my face with this makeup wipe. Some of my coworkers were saying that it could be allergies, and it very well could be. Like when I got here, I just started sneezing left and right. So I don't know if that prompted something, but like trying to go out to dinner, it was hard for me to like not look like I was in so much pain because I was and so we had gone out to another spot I think it was a speakeasy but I and I tried to go because you know this being our last retreat I'm trying to hang out with my friends and stuff but I said guys I can't do it like I can't do it I went I got a drink and I said I gotta go like because it was to the point where I was closing my eyes at the table because having them open hurt too much. So, I'm just about to shower and get in the bed and hope that I feel better in the morning. I probably have to be up at least by 8 because we have a group photo shoot at 9.30 and I need to be able to get up and get myself together so I don't need to be staying up late anyway because I think it's after 11 o'clock my phone's on the charger my phone died while we were out so I was like and now it's really time to go so I am just going to call it a night I'm going to shower put my PJs on get in this bed and cross my fingers that my head feels better in the morning because this is like a pain I've never felt and I'm over it so so hopefully we feel better tomorrow um but until then good night no you see me on the come up big girl with big dreams and big drips talk is cheap but please dare me to run up i'ma put my money where my mouth is talk a good